Hello folks. I see clouds coming, but it's supposed to be clear tonight. Hi Kane, I know you're barking. Hey Kane. Shh. Shh. Thank you. But uh, tonight, I'm going to use my Explorer Scientific Telescope because we're in the thick of galaxy season now and I'm going after a galaxy I've never done before. And I think it's a challenge because right now I've been capturing it and all I see is a very bright core. There's supposed to be a ring around it as well, but I'm not seeing any of that in a single sub. I'm hoping it shows up when I start stacking some of this data, but we'll have to see. And uh, the clouds are, are worrying me because twice this week I've been caught in a snowstorm. Luckily, um, it didn't do any damage to my equipment, so... Um, I see really dark clouds over there. That's why I keep looking over there. Hopefully I'll be okay, but I'm going inside now. Okay, so I am imaging, and I started maybe an hour late because of clouds. I'm looking at my surveillance right now, and you can see um, this white patch of clouds here. They're going away from me, and looks like they're heading in my friend Doug's direction, because he's about 20 minutes south of me. So I hope he doesn't get hit. Maybe they'll break up. And this is what the, the the satellite looks like. You can see my clouds here are breaking up. So I'm right about there on the map. And now whenever I check the map, I always check Trevor from Astro Backyard. I used to think he was way up in some, you know, way up in this Canadian frozen wasteland. I don't know why I thought that, but he's actually uh, very close to me. I'm right about here. I think Trevor's right about there somewhere, so uh looks like he's got some clear skies right about now, unless this stuff is going to hit him pretty soon, so good luck to Trevor. And uh, let me show you what I've got going so far. Okay, so here is my imaging session. I'm capturing 30-second exposures at the moment of red. And um, my totals got reset. I hate it when that happens, but the last time I was using this, my sequence aborted abnormally, so it, it reset my numbers. And for the red, the green, the blue, like I always do, and for the L-Pro, I'm doing 30-second exposures at gain 75.15. And this is what the galaxy looks like. Um, yeah. Not a whole lot to look at right there, is it? <laughs> it, 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 it? It's not blown out like it appears here. I did check it in um, pics and site. Uh, and uh, so I'm getting something here. And what I'm hoping for when I stack the data is that there's a faint ring around the galaxy that I'm going to be able to pick up. And hopefully with enough exposures, I'm, I'm going to get it. So... I have no idea what to expect, and you know what, with my light pollution, it is what it is. Um, I don't usually submit my, my galaxies for um, for NASA APOD. I, I know I'm at a pretty big disadvantage, and my my processing for broadband is, is I think, uh, not where it, is, where it should be. Not like it is for, for when I'm doing nebulas in narrow band. But... Um, before you go, let me show you one thing here. I don't know if you ever noticed this. It, this is the telescope I use, and it, it looks like it's on sale right now for $16.99. Uh, this is the Explorer Scientific website. And if you scroll down, you see my video. of uh, I did a video where I compared my image with this scope to the Hubble Space Telescope. And there's my Eagle Nebula. And they did a comparison here. And you see my picture. Scott Roberts is the president and founder of Explorer Scientific. And he told me he was going to do this. So um, uh, who, who would have thought, you know, when I first bought this telescope a few years ago, that I feel like I'm now the face of this telescope. Isn't that funny? I mean, really, even the people who designed the scope should be the face of it. But my picture is on the is on their page. <laughs> so I, I always get a kick out of that. I'm I'm not affiliated with Explorer Scientific. I don't make any money on this. All I get are bragging rights to <laughs> when I can tell people about this, and that's all I want. So 
anyway, I, I just think it's funny. So that's all I got, folks. So we'll see how this, this galaxy turns out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.